Um, I would try to focus on the on the things within my physical body that I know that need to be healed, and and help the Reiki energy to know that that's where it needed to go. Um, in my physical body, but it seemed like it was. <sighs> it seemed like it seemed like my um, my third eye and crown and and my upper chakras were just running the show and. Oh, and I would breathe, and my dantian would get so full of air and so released and so full of air, and then oh man, so the the figurative way that I came up with with telling the other students afterwards that the intensity of the experience was that I'm like um you know I'm like a little bag. And I'm being stuffed with all this consciousness, and I'm just like, ah, I feel like I'm about to explode. And and a lot of times I'd be twitching. It would be so intense I'd be twitching and shaking, and I was crying. I would cry, and oh, uh, I have not felt that much energy release and inclusion into me as 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 I have ever I've never felt that in this physical experience that I'm living now I don't know if that's ever happened before or whenever I don't know what time even means really at some points but <clears throat> I hope I'm speaking loud enough dang it <laughs> but <laughs> Um, I really can't even process it now. I really I'm trying to expand into my non-physical mind enough to be able to reprocess what I was experiencing when I had expanded to a huge um spiritual mind and was experiencing this vast experience and then having it crammed down into my physical mind and reprocessed and shot through my neurological system i was really it's really i can't even process it enough enough to now to be able to explain it at all really well i i would like to be able to explain it well as as um as any of my experiences I would like to be able to. Um, but I just have to say that you need to experience these things for yourself. Do it. It's worth it. If you've ever thought of doing consistent meditation, you know, or, well, be present, first of all. And then if you've ever thought of do about doing consistent meditation, consider the light body building, um, it may not be for you. You may have a lot of things you need to work on first, like everybody. If you've ever considered it, I think it would be a benefit to anybody what anybody to to experience this. Not that not that it makes me lose. And, and it doesn't make me lose my experience in this physical reality and become um, out there, which obviously I'm out there, but in, in normal, um, normal waking world and interaction, um, I've, actu I've actually gained um, more presence and just ugh, become more, um, more of the being that I be. <laughs> and that's what it's all about being more of who you be for me that's what it's all about 
Again, I hope that you get something out of this. And I thank you for watching. <clears throat> I thank you all for subscribing and liking my videos. It's really a it's really a beautiful experience all the way around. Oh, and you don't you don't even have to um you don't even have to become a Reiki channel to receive Reiki. You just have to search out somebody who's willing to do it. Um that already is a channel and if you ever do get um, the chance to be in a group session that I think that would be an amazing an amazing experience for anybody an amazing experience uh, mind-blowingly experience <laughs> mind-blowingly amazing and I say that from having you know had the amount of crazy mind-blowing experiences that I've had I say I say that that this one was probably and and obviously and literally mind-blowing uh, some of the other things that I wanted to that I processed that I wanted to share during this is is whenever I've done some of the meditations and when, whenever And a lot of times when I was in some of the sessions, um, whenever it seemed like the energy would be too much, whenever I would I would breathe out, I would breathe out these um, spirit snakes. If I didn't breathe, they would come out of my ears or out of my nose. I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really know. So... But the but the, the the totem of the snake, um, I have it on one of my. I'll have to. It's really impossible to to show because it's so minuscule. I have this, I have this Moki stone, which is like a, like a. It's an it's a it's a Native American stone that they make them, and. I forget how it is. It's like iron, and you can form the iron down. Well, this one has like a little, fi little um, has a little figure, and it's really, really small. It's only like uh, less than a quarter of an inch or so, and it's this little stick figure guy, and there's this little snake crawling up to his leg, and. Um, my thoughts on it when I got it was that it was like memorializing some person that had died from a snake bite. But now that I know, um, I guess in, uh, Native Americans don't think that way as much. I'm not really sure. But um, looking up the this, this snake meaning is like ego, releasing ego and transforming and and shedding the skin and that seems to be what I've gone what I've been going through and probably will continue to do and shedding shedding ego and <clears throat> and transforming so I want to thank you all for for being part of the transformation namaste